eligible playoff poll. So uh, right here we have games that will help decide it, who gets in, who doesn't. Um, we have three top ten matchups this week. TCU at Oklahoma, Notre Dame at Miami, Georgia Auburn. Uh, on Friday, there's going to be a vlog. I'll highlight some of these. But I think as I go through them and discuss them, you'll probably get some too. You should still check out Friday's video. Hopefully. Hopefully it loads. Because I am a lot, I just filmed it earlier to schedule to upload. So hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, I'll get on that. That's hopefully it works. So here we see uh, the, if they have a high chance to get in, they're going to be crossing with a green. If they, this is if they lose. If they have a low chance, but it's still a chance. There's still like a chance. It may involve like complete mayhem, so like that. They don't get a blue. If they're out, they get black. I will already out, okay? Win or lose, they're out, all right? So we'll get that off the bat over here. We're going to get that into that in a minute. That is the uh, group of six bid for the uh, New Year's Six game. That's the group of, group of five, so five. Um, so first, Michigan State, Ohio State. Um, as I mentioned, Monday, I thought Ohio State gave up, um, so that's not a good thing. Um, I don't think... I think either of these teams, whoever loses, is out. I honestly think that because both of them would be a three-loss team. It's not going to be easy. So both these teams would be out. But the reason they're up here is because whoever wins will have a chance to go as a two-loss champion. If Ohio State gets it, they'll have the loss to Iowa and the loss to um, Oklahoma. But with wins over Penn State, Michigan State, Michigan, and Wisconsin in the Big Ten title game. So four very good wins. Please. My stuff is not working anymore. Um, Michigan State, I think they also would have a chance, but if they, they're out, they win. I mean, they lose, they're out. And that's how it is. If they lose, what is it? Because if Ohio State wins, they're going to the conference championship game. Most likely, they're going to play Wisconsin. They win, I could definitely see them because their win here is going to boost them back up into the top 10. Probably like number 8. And then after that, you get that win against Michigan. Boot, probably keep them there. And they have a chance with that win against Wisconsin there. Especially there with the conference championship and all that. Get in. Same thing for Michigan State. So both these teams are out. All Next one. Both these teams are out. A lot of these times at this point you're going to see they're out. Winner has a chance. Because when the Big 12, um, Oklahoma and TCU, which we'll get into later, will also help. But the loser of this one will have two losses along with, at the time, currently four other teams. But after this week, it will be three other teams. Uh, conference losses, so they'll all be fighting for the um, chance to get in to play whoever wins out of this, most likely. It's most likely. Not making predictions. So. Um, and then as a, not even as a two loss champion, but they'll still be out even as a two loss champion. But like still, oh, you want your division conference? That's pretty good. Georgia Auburn, if they lose, I still give them a high chance because they still get Bama in the title. Auburn out. They'll still get all. I mean, Georgia will still get Bama in the title game most likely. If um, so Georgia Auburn, Georgia and Auburn both like. Uh, um, the ball a lot. Georgia relies on a freshman quarterback. Auburn relies on a transfer. Wisconsin, I think they would have the low a low chance here. Um, mainly because of the fact that the strength of schedule is not the best. At this point, they will, will play three ranked teams. Northwestern, Iowa, and whoever they play in the conference championship game. Iowa will probably fall out, but I mean, at the time they were number 20. Northwestern's fringe at 25, currently so. They're not getting a big boost, but at least they're showing some respect to their strength of schedule. So that's good. Uh, Notre Dame, I, I actually say if they lose, there's a long shot. They're not out. 
because the losses would lead to a Georgia team that has a chance to win the SEC championship and, uh, and a Miami team that has a chance. And they went on the road to a lot of places or went home and beat the pants off of other top 25 teams at the time. So, yes, they have a chance, but it would definitely need, like, Georgia losing this one. It would definitely need Bama to win out, Georgia to lose versus Auburn to be that two lo- a two loss team, so they're out. They would then obviously need the East, Big Ten East, to win, beat Wisconsin. And then it would just need Miami to win out, too. I mean, the other route is Bama drops, loses to Auburn, Georgia wins out. Actually, they need Georgia to win, lose, but win out, because then they'll be undefeated, and then they'll have two conference champion, champion losses. Those go 1 2. Uh, then they're fighting with like a two loss Ohio State champion, a two loss, a two loss Big Ten champion, possibly, maybe, if Wisconsin doesn't win it. They, but there's still a long time of chaos happens. Miami, a loss, high chance. Because, oh, let's, hold on, I'm ruining the markers. I'm ruining the markers here. But uh, Miami, they have a high chance because they're undefeated currently. Then they're two games in on the up on the division. They're doing very well. And um, with two games up on the division, they can clinch this week against Virginia. Well, they'll also still have Virginia Tech, uh, wins against Virginia Tech. A uh, Clemson team. Um, Virginia Tech, the Los Angeles team, and Clemson. So, I mean, it's an okay strength. The ACC is a very good team. Um, conference. So, yeah. Um, here, losers are out. Um, you hear it week in, week out. They're talking about the defense. Of Oklahoma. They're, they're out. Can you tell? So, yeah, they're out. I think because of stuff. Also, two losses, and the way the committee views that conference of, like, less defense, where America views the conference way less defense than they should have, that's the biggest reason, I think. Um, so, we're going to now jump to Week 13, because there's currently none for Week 12. A lot of teams are playing, like, easier teams. So, there's not a lot, because a lot of teams will do that. They'll play, like, an easy, put one of the non-conference games, play an easier game then, so then they can, you know, have like a vest before like they'll find the final four games possible final four games fine at least final game or final two final three if you include the conference championship and ball or four if you can include the playoffs champion so uh, we're gonna assume here everyone's one out in this round we're gonna assume everyone's one okay they won the last the, this week's and last week's just just for sakes, because Auburn would be out if they lose this week. Auburn, if they win, they, I mean, they lose out, they win, they have barely a chance because they're going to go to a and to play Georgia. Bama, they lose, still a high chance. Because they could still become a one-loss SEC champ. Actually, no. No. Hold on. Auburn loses this week. If, they, if we say they never mind. Bama has a low chance, because we're assuming here that Auburn beat Georgia, and Bama beat the state. That happens, Auburn will go to the SEC title. So, that's not good. So, Bama has a low chance, because there would be 11-1, no championship, the way they've been beating teams are good. They'd be, um, I think they would definitely have a chance with go with Auburn, and I think they may get in. Uh, why it's here? It's because it's fake teams, but both are out. So championship, obviously, we're saying if you lose, we're gonna say Auburn lost. In it's not Auburn, but I say even if they lose here, we're gonna start the SEC because that's obvious. They lose, whoever loses has a high chance. Because we're saying, we're going to say at this point, Notre Dame is still a one loss team. Um, Big 12 beat themselves up, and everyone has two losses there. Uh, the East beat Wisconsin. I mean, even if the East don't beat, beat 
East could beat West. The, the Big Ten East could beat Wisconsin. As you can see here. So we're gonna say even if they lose, out. If they lose here, they're out. Uh, if they lose, yeah, we're, we're saying one of the so high chances. We're saying and we'll just put like Notre Dame off to the side. And is there any other contender? And that's just Big Twelve and Pac Twelve's out. So Notre Dame would probably benefit most by. A East upset. Right, if East beats wins here, they benefit the most because all they have to deal with now is a one loss Wisconsin team that hasn't played the best schedule. Two SEC SEC champ, let's just say Alabama, could go either way. Alabama, then the Georgia one loss Georgia team that they lost to themselves, and then ACC champion, and then a one loss Wisconsin. I definitely could see. I'm still getting, they'll, they'll get in, and it's a very, it's probably going to go, if Oklahoma wins, it'll probably go, Bama, Notre Dame, Clemson, or Miami, we're assuming Miami has a loss right now, because, so they're a one loss team, okay, so we're going to mark that down as 11 and 1, because we're going to say Notre Dame beat them, so, um, Miami, let's just say Miami wins it. Uh, they'll probably go three, and then Georgia will be four. Because I see, Georgia, and that would be Wisconsin, five, and then someone, six, probably Clemson, something like that. If, if whoever wins, if you lose, both these, Miami has a low chance. Clemson, that would be the second loss. I mean, both teams' second loss. If they're, right, so if they're 12 and 0, they lose, they have a chance. If they're 11 and 1, Going in, if the 12 and out going in, that's it. Clemson out, they have to win. Hey, so thank you. Uh, I didn't get into the UCF thing, but um, pretty much if UCF wins out, they'll get in. If they if they make it to the championship and they lose to Memphis, and they lose at any po point, Toledo will be thrown into the mix. Toledo didn't get on the board here. Um. Uh, because like they don't play any of those teams. Okay. Um, this kind of should be. Um, so because they don't play UCF or use SF or Memphis or UCF, they don't play any of those teams currently. So they're not in there. But if UCF loses at any point, then Toledo will get thrown in, and pretty much my camera cut out. But I wanted to explain how Memphis and Toledo schedules and stuff like that. Most likely, if UCF wins out, they'll get in. And if they lose to USF, then they'll, it will, whoever beats, wins the AAC, Atlantic Athletic Conference, will be thrown. American Athletic Conference will go play with the, will be in Toledo. But Toledo's never been ranked this year. Um, they're currently actually, if you look at the AP, they're only getting, 30, they're getting 31 per, votes in the AP. And... Only they're getting 31 in both polls, so they're very far behind in there. While like USF um is getting way more respect, they're getting I don't know if they're getting more votes, but they've been getting more respect. Memphis has been getting more respect than um um if I'm correct, the only playoff in the playoff thing, the only group of five team ranked oh and Memphis is ranked sorry Memphis is ranked number 22. If you look at AP, uh, USF is UCF is 14, Memphis is 20, and 22 is South Florida. So that just shows like these voters, even though that they're eight and one, Toledo is eight and one, they just don't. I guess they don't see the MAC as good as a conference, which probably go, will go in and show that. Like, so Boise State has 14 in the AP, and then coaches. Uh, UCF is 12, Memphis is 19, and uh, South Florida is 21. And Toledo has 31, and Boise State has 29. And Boise State has two losses. And that just shows, like, oh, where everyone is with these Toledo team. So, once again, thank you for watching. So, that was the end of that. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, this is Wednesday. My next video will hopefully be posted Friday. 
before that whole schedule thing scheduling video works thing works hoping it hoping it does really hoping it does so um, I don't get screwed over there if not then it will just get I'll make sure it gets first to Saturday morning so thank you for watching and uh come back subscribe so you can keep up with these videos